It's been asked a ton, so in this video, I will share every last detail to my system of both packing light and washing clothes while traveling under the worst conditions and the best conditions, no matter where your journeys take you. I just returned to my Airbnb here in Taipei from a two-week work trip in Jakarta, packing just a backpack and a sling, and as you can see, it's broken into two sections. This section over here is more so just pouches, whether it's toiletries or kind of any kind of work or tech accessories that I need. And on this side, this is where all of my clothing goes. Typically, when I travel, merino wool is all I pack, but for this particular two weeks in Jakarta, I wanted to pack other options that may make more sense for you. I mean, high quality superfine merino wool is a miracle fabric, especially for an insane sweat factory like me. But if you don't travel frequently enough to justify the cost per wear of superfine merino wool, here is my recommendation in two parts. Part one is a fact, which is absolutely do not bring cotton. Cotton wrinkles easily, smells bad quickly, and takes forever to dry. Part two is an opinion, and it's to go with dry X and non-cotton options from Uniqlo. To respect your time, I'll write the specific items for men and women I suggest down in the description, but for this trip, I brought along a blend of all budget and material options, including the worst option of cotton. Just visually, you can see that just in half a backpack is more than enough clothing that I need for a two-week trip in very hot weather. And when I say more than enough, as you can see, I have not worn this yet, I have not worn this yet, I wear this for bed, I have not worn this yet and I have not worn this yet. However, now it's time for what to me is the much more important part of the video. How to wash clothes while traveling with ease and confidence because being able to wash your clothes confidently by yourself no matter where you go is one of the most liberating skills to acquire. But hello from my hotel bathroom right here in Jakarta and I'm going to show you what I do literally every day which is at minimum hand wash the socks and underwear that I wore that day. But also this is the evening of day eight of my trip and I just got to show you i've been wearing this merino wool long sleeve shirt every single day but also at least in places like jakarta you can go to these little tiny roadside stalls or even carts that sell things like laundry detergent and this is great you don't have to pack your own this was only a thousand rupiah and a thousand rupiah is six or seven cents us so yeah there's that step one is washing the sink where i take a bit of laundry detergent and just do it by hand step two is the initial soak where it's just water as the sink is filling up, I just start the soap. The goal is to ensure every fiber is fully saturated and any dirt and grime starts getting released immediately. Step three, of course, is to release the now filthy soaked water and wring everything out. You do want to wring quite well just to get as much of the dirty water out of your clothes as possible. Step four is spot treating any potentially extra bad stains. So then I will take this toothbrush, the hotel toothbrush, squeeze a bit of this detergent onto my finger, and just dab my finger onto the stains and just start spot treating any sauces, coffee, or other stubborn stains. With that potential step out of the way, it's time for step five, which is the first of two detergent wash cycles. Get a teaspoon to a tablespoon of detergent into the sink, and trust me, you need way less than you probably think you do. And then fill with water to bubble it all up. As the sink is filling up, that's when I'm just gonna start doing each individual item at a time. And I'm just gonna firmly press. Again, I'm not rubbing anything, I'm just firmly pressing. And once the sink is full and you turn the water off, that's when I'll do a round of light fiber to fiber scrubbing with each piece. And this is the very first cycle of using the laundry detergent. And you're gonna see how cloudy the water is up close. Step six is to release the dirty soapy water and wring everything out as the filth is going down the drain. Step seven is the last of two detergent cycles. And I'll get the same, a teaspoon to a tablespoon of detergent. So again, as the sink is filling up, just massaging everything. And as I'm squeezing and massaging, I could already see the water is so much cleaner. Just like before, once the sink is full and the water's off, I'll repeat that fiber to fiber scrubbing. And when that's done, we'll let it release. Step eight is the initial rinse off. I am going to take everything out of the sink, turn on the water to pretty full blast, and I'm not gonna seal the sink. And I'm gonna take each individual item and just do the rinse like this. So I'm doing a first rinse where the water immediately gets washed down. I like to spend a full two minutes here to ensure to the best of my ability that any soap trapped in the fibers get fully flushed out. Then getting each piece out of the sink one by one after it's been individually wringed out. Step nine is the final soap. Fill the sink with clean water and soak everything back in. Beautiful. So you can see that I was just really crunching down on all this clothing. And now you will see that it is running clear. And finally, step 10 is drying. 
This is where you'll want to ring the most aggressively since every extra bit of effort here is the determining factor of how long you're gonna have to wait for this stuff to hang dry. Unlike before where I was just chunking each item ringing two or three times, here I'm getting much smaller clumps and really twisting down full power. Lots of water coming out. Now aggressively ringing alone is still not enough. And so if I'm here at a hotel, I will ask the staff for an extra bath towel or two. So I have this extra bath towel here and I will go to a flat surface. So come on, let's go. Spread and lay each item onto the towel, then roll it up. Once it's rolled, I'll really press down. And despite ringing very aggressively before, with this step, I can still feel the moisture seeping through the towel. Once you've toweled up, get things onto a hanger immediately and just do some very light tugging if necessary to flatten any remaining bunching. And when they're done air drying, they will be wrinkle free. Again, usually it's just my socks and boxer briefs that I wash every day. But you may be wondering why, if I say that I do my laundry, at least my socks and underwear every single night, why I have that plastic bag in my backpack with a bunch of socks and underwear. And I just did that on purpose because I want to show you also another option, which is to find laundry services. Right now I'm in Jakarta as you know on a very busy street this is the main street right here it's very busy but right behind me is a very lonely alleyway and this is where the laundry express service is so let's take a look there it is you can see it says laundry express so so it has been three hours so i'm just gonna walk over and get my laundry all right just got back to my hotel it's like a five minute walk there five minute walk back mr mo <laughs> i like that Anyways, this is kind of insane to me. It's 20,000 IDR, again, $1.25, $1.50 USD for three hour service where they wash, dry, fold, and put everything into a bag. And so we are about 14 hours after I washed and hung these up, and I can confidently say that is definitely completely dry. If this were cotton, I'd need at least another full 24 hours, if not more. But lastly, you may have noticed earlier as I was walking in Jakarta that my sneakers are still crispy. And since I only wear one pair of sneakers when I travel, in line with doing my laundry in terms of my socks and underwear every day, I'll also do one pass of my shoes. Just one piece of tissue here. I'll just get whatever water drops are left over inside the sink just to moisten it quite a bit and just go over anything. One of the biggest challenges is, at least here in Jakarta, you'll know that I ride motorcycle taxis everywhere. And especially while it's raining or right after it rains there's a lot of splatter and that's where i take that toothbrush that i have from the hotel that i use to kind of get into tougher stains and i'll do the exact same thing with my shoes i don't even have to wash the soap off i'll just take tissue paper or whatever the case might be and i'll just do a firm wipe and you can see here all good Right now, as you know, I'm back in my Airbnb in Taipei, and one of the more common options you'll find around the world are laundromats, just like this one. And if I turn around, you will see it is pitch black outside because it is legitimately 3.47 a.m. right now. And that's one of the things I love about Taipei. It's so clean and safe everywhere, even in the middle of the night. This is a 24-hour self-serve place, and it is awesome. A vending machine that sells everything you need to do your laundry, washing machines on this side, and dryers all up against the back wall. And even this table is just spotless. No problem folding your laundry after you're done. So obviously, depending on where you're traveling, laundromat's potentially a very awesome option as well. So let's recap. Best case, there are tremendously affordable laundry services like in Jakarta. Mid case, you use a laundromat. Worst case, you have to hand wash yourself. But I hope this has shown you just how easy even the worst case scenario is, and equally just how easy it is to pack way less than you think you need. But if you're still not convinced, you can check out how not one, but two people shared one single backpack for a two week trip in this video right up here. If you're feeling lucky though, this video down here is the one for you. I'll leave them both on screen for a few seconds so you can choose which one to watch next. But while you're deciding, if you got value from this video, consider subscribing and hitting that bell so you'll be notified the moment new videos just like this one drops.